In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to deploy your portfolio website on GitHub Pages. Okay, so now we're going to make our project available on the internet. So we need hosting. There are many options for hosting. We, and these days, we also have a lot of free hosting options. So one of the popular ones, or well, it's getting more popular, is GitHub Pages. Right, so you, if you have a GitHub account, then yeah, you can create one uh, website uh, for free for your account. And uh, I think that's very suitable for like a personal portfolio website, right? You can even mention it on the website hosted on GitHub pages to let the, the recruiter or anyone know that you are familiar with this, with this, uh, with, with GitHub, right? Even though you may not, you may just be a beginner with GitHub. I think that would still look uh, pretty uh, impressive. They make it very easy for us, right? So they actually show us what to do. So let's actually go through it. So you get one site per GitHub account, okay? Okay, so step one is to create a repository and the name of that one has to be your username on github.github.io, okay? So you need to log in to your GitHub account and you can click here on new repository. You can also go to your repositories and then you can also create a new one. Okay, so it says create a new repository now here you need to use the exact name of your um, GitHub account. So for me, it's ByteGrad. It's not. It's not capital. It's not capital sensitive. But um, it needs to be the name. So ByteGrad.github.io. Okay. So if you have that, you don't need to change anything here. You can just click on Create a Repository. Okay. So then we have all of this. So let's go to the next uh, step. So it says, what Git client are you using? We're using a terminal, right? Since we're using the terminal anyway. Okay, so it says, go to the folder where you want to store your project and we need to clone the new repository. And here it's using Git. So Git is uh, a very common tool that we use as developers to deal with, um, well, our code base. And this is also something you need to install, right? So if you've never used that before, you've never installed it, go ahead and go to the website and install it because you're gonna need it sooner or later, right? So you can just pause the video and just uh, go through it. It should be pretty straightforward, right? So with Git, what we now need to do, right? So it says it right here. So what we can do is here, we need to copy this uh, URL. So just copy this. Right, so this is from creating the repository. So then here in our code editor, let's see, we are currently in this folder, right? Portfolio website. So what I can do here is it says git clone and then control V for me to paste that URL. So if I do this, it's gonna, it's gonna clone that uh, repository in here and now you can see we have another folder and it actually gives me a warning because it's empty right now right so if you open this it's empty but here we can put the files for uh, what we want to put online right so here if we go to the last step it actually shows us that we need to add an html file um, and then we need to we, well, this is a very typical thing to do with Git. We need to add all the changes. We need to commit the changes and then we will push it to GitHub, right? So don't worry, it, that's gonna be very common. But we need to put the, the files that we want to distribute in here, right? So let's just copy everything from the dist folder and paste that in here. I'm gonna close uh, this. Right, so now, um, this is what we want to push to GitHub. So what we're going to do is here, I'm still in this folder, portfolio website. Now I want to go in this folder so we can change the directory CD into bytegrad.github.io. You don't have to write the full name. If you, if you write a little bit and then press tab, it will actually uh, give you a suggestion. So CD into this folder. Now you can see that um, uh, this part now has changed, right? So now I'm in this, I'm in this folder. So now with Git, we want to push this to Git. So we're going to, we're going to add all the changes. So we say Git add period. It's going to add all the changes. Then we want to commit as it's called. And you, you have to leave a commit message. So you can say Git commit dash M. 
and then a message well we can just call this first commit right so if you press enter it will uh, commit these uh, changes it may show you some output and now we can push it to um, github so we can say git push origin this is the the name for uh, the github repository and then the the branch that you want to push well the default here is actually main so if we do this it's going to push it right it's going to be pretty quick and it's going to show you something like this so now if we go back to the repository that we created here and we refresh we should see something and we do indeed see something we see our files here so now of course we also want to see if we can see our website on the internet so i'm going to copy this and we should see our website on this url right so the name your your github name dot github dot io and it may actually take um, a couple of seconds so i believe last time i tried this it took like 30 seconds so i'm gonna refresh to try again yeah so i tried again and now it's working right so it took like a minute or so if it takes longer than five minutes then probably uh, something went wrong with uh, the process um, eventually you should see it right so now people can visit this url and they will see this uh, developer portfolio website right so that is pretty cool uh, and still works exactly like it's supposed to work all right right now github also allows you to change the domain to something custom right so i think this already looks pretty cool because it's actually my name right or the github name but um you can even make it your own personal domain like um tim.com right all of that is possible but i don't think it's, it's i don't think it's really necessary for a portfolio website but maybe you want to do that we have come very far if you're still with me here well done because uh well it wasn't an easy journey but i hope that you learned a lot so really well done congratulations for making it this far by the way if this was helpful i'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe also check out my courses on css and javascript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level because in there we will build some beautiful real world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master css or javascript and i will also release other courses soon like react and node.js so if you want to be notified then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter you can find the link in the description thanks for watching and i hope to see you soon